How's it going people? My name is Shadow and we are here again in Starfield. We are currently stood outside the lodge because we are going to be continuing with the main story missions for the moment. Obviously in the last episode we ended up finishing off the Ryujin questline with the most infuriating mission ever. Because if we did it the easy way that would have been no fun. But on a lighter note we have completed all four faction quest lines got our decent rewards from it could they be better probably but let us continue with the main story we have to go speak with Walter and then we have to head back to Neon funnily enough hello there Walter I must admit you've surprised me I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us but I was wrong I want you for a little soiree I'm planning all right, I'm interested. Let's hear it. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Amen. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. I'm ready, let's go. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Lovely. Right, before we leave, I need to grab Andresia. Mm. Where is she? Ah, there she is. Did you need something? Yes, you're coming back I normally. suppose now you can add climbing the corporate ladder to your list of accomplishments. I forgot about this. I think it is perhaps for the best that the research program will come to an end. Where that neuroamp technology could lead, there are many bad outcomes. Too many. No one should have that degree of control over others. Except you, perhaps. You do still have one in your head. We both know you can trust me with it. Yes, I suppose we do know that. And if you are the only one with this neuroamp, I know exactly who to keep an eye on. I suggest you keep that in mind. <laughs> with the neuroamp matter settled, we should move on to other things, yes? Yes. Um, if you are free soon, could we talk? I have something I wanted to say. But I confess I am afraid of how you will react. Ah, oh, it's this conversation. Um, nothing would change my opinion of you. I am reluctant to put that to the test. But it is necessary that we are honest with each other. I know that you said you prefer to be surrounded by others, unlike me. But Constellation means something to us both. And I must be honest about why. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out, until now, is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun. My people. My family. I thought House Varun had vanished. They have retreated from open relations with the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective, but they still exist. I was born in the great city of Dazra and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krijar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the Great Serpent and his inevitable return. Um... Uh, I really gotta try not to piss her off. Uh, that sounds really impressive, I hope. Thank you. Yeah. I doubt many would see it that way. There is a reason I am only just revealing this now. 
Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. That makes you an undercover agent. That was the intent, yes. But the reality is more complicated. Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. If it were me, I wouldn't have been caught. No. Um... Uh, I don't know if these conversations affect the flirt options or not, but... Uh... Yeah, they didn't trust you. Seems like a good call on their part. I admit that stings a bit. But yes, I was horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council. And the penalty would be severe. And that explains the reason why Varun Zealots chase after her. Um... Yeah, I'm not surprised. Sarah is a good person. Yes, she is. I cannot imagine anyone else in her position doing the same. You and I have spent so much time together. It has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given. But it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. You're just still Andresia, as far as I'm concerned. You have no idea what a relief that is. Thank you for trusting me. Right, can I take you with me now without striking up a bloody conversation again? What is it? Yeah, right, you're you ready to head back out. Finally, I've been waiting. Uh, yeah, I've been busy climbing a corporate ladder like you suggested um yeah let us head back to neon i do admire what bayou has built for himself here yeah it's not bad but it's like a giant oil rig but yeah we're here in the spaceport of neon because if we actually travel up to neon walter doesn't move off the light nah smell that construction Incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Alright, let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekram offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Okay then. Let's head on in. Alright, and here we are. We have to go down to um yeah. The trade tower. Welcome, Offworlder, to the And then head up to the Stroud Eckland office. So we get a nice little bit of history Gangs lesson about other. Walter. Not really a history lesson, but a bit of a background. Mr. Stroud, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bus you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Charmed, Miss Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? 
I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Um... Yeah, about our business here? Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? So, our meeting is at the Astral Lounge. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. All right, I'll investigate the cellar. Casey Astro Lounge. Got it all. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you a thousand credits, but it's not enough for what we need to do for these bits. And first thing first, I know obviously we've got the Astral Lounge right there. But we will do that on the way back. Let's go down to chef's James Newell and get the information we need on the cellar. I'm hoping this doesn't strike up a conversation with him again, because I think I've got an activity where I need to speak to him again. I, I can't remember. So, Mr. Newell. Just want to say again, I'm grateful for the help you gave, getting Dietrich to stop those payments. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet... You're going to let me talk. You have Thank a you. Moment. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Um... Yeah, we're set up. Uh, you are. Uh, I can't speak. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh, well, these credits say you did. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Oh, that were easy. And into upside we are again. Um. Around here, I think. Yeah. And it is that one. It really confuses the hell out of me when they say, like, sleep crate number and everything. They don't even have numbers on them. I don't think. I swear I checked these last time. Yeah, they don't have numbers on them. So, let's go ahead and unlock this. I you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Yeah, you say that every time. And activate your computer. That is that really a computer? No, no, and there we go. Our bank statement. So you got on. yeah. There's another slate. And I think that's it. Right. Now up to the Astral Lounge. Not sure how much. Right, Astral Lounge. We need to go speak to the bartender. You there. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? 
Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Uh, I don't do cums. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Mate, I can just make the stuff myself. Um, I'm having a meet to here. I'm having a meet here later I was about to say meet her again fuck's sake um I am having a meeting here later worried about security finally the got Astro that. lounge is one of the safest places in all of neon security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city so I need security to be on my side if a fight broke out then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro lounge VIP package for a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'd love to be a VIP. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Alright, lovely. Enjoy the lounge. Yeah, you can buy a penthouse from him. Don't bother, it's not worth it. Obviously, you get a free one when you do the Vanguard missions. Um, how much money do I actually have? 790k. Oh, hey, um, I didn't realize I had that much money. Hey, you wanna dance? We got all this money and nothing to spend on at the moment, unless I decide to go you and have something better to do? build another ship, which I may do at some point. But let us get round, access the computer, which we have to unlock, of course. Right, and remote door control. Yep. Now all we have to do is during a meeting, if we don't like how systems. things are going, we get the option to wave our hand and the door just closes and locks itself. Lovely. Let's go back to speak to Walter. I missed you too. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. All right, can I talk to him now? How are the preparations coming? It's done. Let's get to this meeting. To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Thank you. Right. Back to the Astral Lounge. Right, Astral Lounge. Right. Speak to Walter. Speak to Walter. Thank all you. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Code phrases? 
Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay then. Now, we're looking for someone who is carrying a briefcase. A security briefcase. Last time, well, so I say the first time I did this, I actually decided to hop up on that and just scour everyone carrying something. But he is literally up here, Good. stood next to the bar. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Uh, I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Beautiful. Nice, simple, easy. Go speak to Walter. Yeah. I just saw Arcella walk by. Uh, Good job. I don't know how you did because I left him before even. Yeah, one step closer to our goal. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? Sounds like a good deal to me. So let's go close the deal and get the artifact. This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Hey, I think me and you have a different definition of hey fun. If something's easy for me, it's no fun. So let's Let's get on round to, yeah, um, stop standing there like a pleb. Uh, yeah, get around to our VIP room, shall we? So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting? Making me nervous. Uh, yeah, I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. I did try getting to the so chair before polite. this got locked Almost into it. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Uh, I forgot we were still wearing the suit. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? I... yeah, let's just go ahead and lock the door. What the? Security! Yeah, the security team and I have an understanding. They won't interfere. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Beautiful. Have it. This couldn't have gone better. Yep, let well, us get out of there. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Yep. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Uh, security. We're being harassed. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. 
Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Yep. Uh, we have the exact same thoughts right there. I would like to say a nice, easy, simple job, but nothing ever goes simple and easy. Easy. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's squeezed a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Uh, so much for this being easy, Walter. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Lovely, yeah. Why don't we go and do that, shall we? And here we are in Slayton Aerospace offices. That is a nice engine. Ah, oh, it's you who makes those engines. I, you, I've got a ship on my other character with those engines. They're pretty decent engines, them. Right, you. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Yeah, you impounded my ship. You're all dead! No, no, no. Um, I need to make an appointment to see Nicholas Slayton. Calm I'm down, Shadow. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Um... Sh shit. Uh, auto persuade. Whoa. Okay. Uh, let me think. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Lovely. I don't want to have to murder everyone if I can help it. I mean... Yeah, I was just about to... Hoping to get a meeting? Check their, uh... Hey, you have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. They don't look like standard security. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. You do. You look like you're either a spacer or an ecliptic. <coughs> uh, anyway. Get back up. Into the elevator. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? No, I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, let's go. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. I would love for them to You'll try and to kill me. You want to use the vent system to slip around the mountains. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Yep, and back to doing Jump some right sneaky, sneaky stuff. Right. They do love their stealth missions in Neon, don't they? Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Yep. Straight up. Above you. Just climb up. Hello. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Yeah, there's also another room there. I don't know what this room is. What? Ah. That was a bad idea. Where are you going? Yeah, fuck off back to the room that you were just in. I forgot about that. Drop on down. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. 
Yeah, is he? Right, we're good. I think. Yeah, we're good. There's a robot stuck in the hole. Wait, it's walking down the hall. Go now, to jaws to the door. Okay, are we good? Yeah, where is Walter and Andresia? Keep going all the way to the end. Oh, there's Andresia. Where's Walter? Ah, there he is. Wait, what was that? A hammer. No. I love how Andresia can just turn invisible from time to time. Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. Yeah, she says that every time. What shutters? I'm guessing it's this room here, but. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Yeah. Go now. Okay. First time I Let did this, I don't know. Real. By the time I got to here, they spotted me. I don't know how, but they did. But we have done it. All right. Know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one. I promise. Right up. Straight Almost down. There. Door on the right. Right on through. How the hell did you just appear there? There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Aye. Now, I'm actually going to try and do this bit without getting caught. If I do, uh, honestly, if I do get caught, I'm just going to say fuck it and just continue anyway. It doesn't really matter with this mission, so. Uh, you can go that way, but there's two guards there. I like to go this way. Come over here. Go over to this bit. Jump up to here. Onto this catwalk. And then we go sneaky sneaky. All the way to the roof, I think it is. Yeah. Now, I know there's a couple guards up here. Um, I think they're like the infinity guards. They see one pixel of you and they're on you. I remember rightly as well, they're actually covering the door. Where are ya? Yeah, there's one... Two... This is, honestly, it's a real shame you can't just cause a distraction for people on this. I can't remember what game it was that I played before where you can cause a distraction by firing an arrow or something. Um. Yeah, I figured it was nothing. What? Hook her down! Fire! Fire! Uh, thanks, Andresia. Well. Once again, we are triumphant. See what I mean? She has the stealth skill. Yeah, she's the one who gets bloody caught. Uh, I'll take I your might find in their pockets. stuff. Uh, anyway, let's just get in, shall we? Alright, confront Cl uh, Nicholas Slayton. I was about to call him Klaus then. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. Oh, aren't you lovely? Hey there! You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. I'm sure it you does. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. 
Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> yeah, call off your guard, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. Mate, you can have a thousand guns on your side. It ain't gonna stop me. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't trust your mercs. They haven't stopped us so far. Hmm. You do make a bold point. But that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes. I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Decide? As in we could let him go? If you wish. You will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. It seems reasonable that a thief face some form of punishment, does it not? My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I, I, I swear her well. things change every fucking time. I know he probably would do time. the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Yeah, he's getting locked up, don't worry. I know I could just walk in and just shoot him in the head, but... Musgrove. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humour. Yeah, he wanted... He... he wants me to decide what to do with you. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Yeah, everyone steals, but you got caught. You're going to jail. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment. While you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Yes, we shall. But if you... I'll stick... Well, hang on. Let me... Take all of that. Ah, oh, it's a fucking Bridger again. And it's got space adept on it, for fuck's sake. That uh, is probably the worst thing you could have on a Bridger. Yeah, there is a contraband cache in here. Or cache, however you want to call it. I will not be opening it because I don't need the money, but there are... Two things in there with five lots of each. So it's if you need the money, go ahead and just take it. But I don't need it, so I'm not going to do it. Did I just see a book? No. What about the cred stick? Can I take the cred stick? I can take the cred stick. Lovely. You know, he says he doesn't need money, yet he still takes the cred stick CCs. Right, let us get back to my ship, shall we? Right, before I get onto my ship, is the ship technician actually here? Or is he literally glitched completely on console? Oh, he's... Oh my god, he's actually here uh, for it's once. It's you. Orders came in to take your ship off the impound list. Just head inside, and I'll release the locks on your takeoff controls. Um, I'll be flying. Well... I don't know what we're going on with that draw then, but... Literally, that ship technician, every single time I've came to Neon, he's never there, so I can never do anything to my ship in Neon. But, let us get into our ship, and get out of here. Always a satisfying a moment to return dead. to your ship. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? Well, we've got the artifact, that's all that matters. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? 
Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. All right. Let's go call. Uh, it is... Um, Eh, right, let's take off. Right. Oh, hello. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. Uh, identify yourself. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. I do not recall that we asked your permission. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. Yeah, at least tell... Uh, yeah, at least tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. Yep, full, ama uh, full evasive maneuvers. Let's get out of here. I mean, we can take on this ship. I have done it before, but there's no point you don't get anything out of it. So let's get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on. Yeah, let me change bloody module stuff. Uh, Alpha Centauri, get me out there. Go! Quickly, get out of here! Quick, 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 quick! Yeah! get to the lodge the city certainly projects a powerful image for the United Colonies eh um yeah I guess so right let's go speak to everyone it sometimes amuses me to think about what goes on here right under the United Colonies collective notes uh Noel how is Neon? Are you... are you okay? You need to look at the data from my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? 
Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Yeah, to Barrett's point, the artifacts clearly aren't human-made. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. Not so sure about that. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to Maybe hand them out as soon as you please. Something I'd like to discuss. Lovely. Add the artifacts of the collection. Okay. Uh, i got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. I have something I need to discuss with Ah, you. everyone wants hey, to talk. Strange. Let's chat sometime, okay? <laughs> oh, this is creepy. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about something. Oh my god. You have the chance. Um, actually, yeah, well, uh, hey, you we never will, expected to end up involved um, in something like this. Yeah, shut up. Well, uh, we will speak to you next time. Your mission is actually pretty decent. You get a free ship out of it, and I'm hoping I do it the right way to get the better version. But this is going to be the only episode for today. Uh, got a few things to do. I know I could have done some stuff yesterday. I just didn't realize how long the video making and uploading and everything was going to be done yesterday. YouTube decided to turn around and say, no, nah, I'm going to take this half an hour, an hour and a half video and upload it for six hours. It just, I don't know what we're going on. But in the next episode, uh, we will possibly go and do Walter's little mission. Like I said, get a nice free ship out of that. And I do hope we do it the right way. Uh, we've got, obviously, further into the unknown, going to speak to Vladimir that will spiral us into another two story missions i think one straight into the other you there's no way you can be like oh, i'm gonna start it and then you often do something else it literally is you have to do them straight away uh burden of proof that's just gonna be there because um there's gonna be some data slates and stuff that that are out there that I completely forgot to pick up and missed. Um, I know one of them is actually uh, behind a quest for one of the Crimson Fleet members, which are no more. So I'm surprised that, that even, that's even still there. We've still got, obviously, power from beyond. So we've got a load of powers to go in, collect. Uh, I won't be collecting any more powers until I get all the artifacts which will be at the end of the game. We will cross that bridge when we come to it because I have a plan on what to do. Nothing in the missions. And as you can see, we have a load of activities to do as well. So at one point I will be doing a few episodes where it literally will just be clearing the activities because some of these will lead into uh, other side missions and everything whilst the others are literally just go and speak to this person do one thing and it's done but anyway people thank you for joining me my name has been shadow and i hope you enjoy the rest of the day the rest of your evening wherever you are in the world and i shall catch you in the next one bye bye